Friesland. We are in the north of Holland right now. Uh, that's the Netherlands for all you non-Europeans. And we are together. I mean, <laughs> I was just say. Kimmy came and saw me while I was in Amsterdam waiting to go down to the boat in Curaçao. And we had a really good five days together. Um, Exploring North Northern Netherlands a little bit together. It's been a long time. It's been seven months since we last saw each other. So we had lots of stuff to talk about. So we'd like to just sit and talk with you guys a minute about exactly what is going on with Zingaro, with us, with everything. So let's start at the beginning, which is the pandemic. Epic, epic, epic. So we shipwrecked in late December and uh, we spent some time on Hawaii getting the Kickstarter campaign ready and all that. And my family came visit, which uh, was planned a long time ago, but it was horrible timing. So we were like, we were supposed to take them out on a boat and have some fun. And instead we were a complete mess and, uh, but they helped us out. So it was all cool. Um, and, and we got them way, on a boat. We got them on a boat. We took them out on your, on my, on, on Eric's, Eric's boat. Yeah. yeah. So they got a little bit of sailing. That was good. But the point is that me and my sister planned on going to Mexico for a couple of weeks. So we did that after the Kickstarter campaign finished and then COVID hit. And we were, what do you call that? Repatriated. Repatriated. So they flew us out to Germany, back to Germany, which is where I have been stuck for the past... Seven months. Yeah, seven months. So presently, what's going on with Zingaro? We found a boat and we bought the boat. It's done. That's a done deal. It's paid for. The boat is lying in Curaçao, which is right above Venezuela, and it's owned by the Dutch. So I am actually in Holland with the help of one of our patrons, Matthias. Matthias, thank you so much. You are the man. I love you and your family and your little baby. You guys are so cute, such a cute family. Uh, thank you for inviting me into your home. You guys are so, so nice. So I am quarantining here in Holland for 14 days so I can get to Curaçao because that's the only way to get there. So now that he actually managed to get to Europe, we actually finally got to see each other again after seven months apart due yeah. to the pandemic, which I'm really glad about. Me too. Not the pandemic, but the point that we can see each other now. You should make that. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am not going to go to Curaçao with Jamie. I'm, I decided over the past seven months that I had spent here in Berlin that I'm going to go to school, which I have been planning on doing for a long time and it was never the, really the good time. And now that I had so much time <laughs> here in Berlin, I decided that now or never. So James is going to go to Curaçao in two days. The flight is booked and um, he just got a... He just got a COVID test done, so you should be all set to get to Curaçao and get to the boat. Show him the keys. You have the keys. Oh, I have the keys to the boat. Yeah, I'll get the keys. Here's the keys to the boat. <laughs> Conveniently, there's a Heineken floaty on it. German, German. Mm -hmm. no. Is there a correlation? Is I there some kind of so cosmic it's message? It's Dutch. It's cosmic. not German. It's from it's here, from Holland. I don't have anything to do with Heineken beer. It sucks. I just want you guys to know that Kimmy and I still love each other. Uh, we want the best for each other. I, I really only want you to be happy and for you to succeed. And if you need anything, I can, if anything I can do, I'll do anything to help you. You've read my math exam? No, I won't do that. <laughs> you don't want me doing that. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, but enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about what uh, the future plans are for both of us. So for me, I'm going to go down to the boat in two days. Um, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna be alone for the first month or so, and I think by that time I'll have it in the water. So I'm gonna replace the butter bearing, the cutlass bearing, rebuild the winches, the furlers, the, um, the prop, uh, just grease everything, uh, re revamp the engine and the generator, and get the cooking working. And then hopefully all the sails are in okay shape. There's a sail maker on the island, so I should be able to take the sail in if it needs repaired, and then put everything up, and get it in the sailing condition within three weeks, I'm thinking. So as long has, as- The boat has been sitting for like three years. Yeah. So everything has to be put up and the winches that need serve, to be serviced and stuff. But other than that, it should be in good condition to be taken to? Florida. Yep. So I've already told you guys I'm going to Florida. I have um, pretty much written that in stone now. I want you guys to have a chance to come down. I want to be able to um, build a tower for the back so I can put solar on the boat. I want to put a heater on it. 
And um, the, the, the big change in plans for me is after coming here and after seeing Kim and after meeting Matthias and, and living in Snake for um, two, two and a half weeks, I love it here and I think I want to bring the boat here. And I think that the current situation politically in, in, in South, America. South America is really bad. So instead of going straight to South America, I can do a big loop, come up here, go into the fjords of Norway, go into the North Sea, maybe the Baltic, and then go down into the Med, go down into the Canary Islands, and then come over from the Canaries next year. And by then, the political situation and the crime rate might go down to a place where it'll be safe to do. And then go through Patagonia. But right now, I don't know if it's the best idea. I've been really, really fretting this idea. It's like this place is so cool, Northern Netherlands. Um, so cool too, with all the water and so many boats and this this very old tradition of sailing. It's just you you can totally feel that the influence of yeah. the sailing. People. This is yeah. such a cool place. It's really cool. So I guess you'll just have to figure out how the situation develops mm -hmm. concerning COVID and. Brazil really is not a place to sail or to travel to right now, no. so no. Um, I think Norway, I mean, the fjords has been something that we've always talked about, so I think it would be really cool. Will you visit Messi? me? Yeah. Maybe my own boat by then, who yeah, knows? Yeah, that'd be cool. We could <laughs> we'll buddy, buddy boat. Uh, so what are you going to yeah. be doing? Uh, I'm going to be studying in Berlin, something that I've always wanted to do, as I said already. What are you studying? I'm going to be studying politics and economics. So nothing I'll ever get a job with, but <laughs> something I'm really interested in, so... And are you going to be starting your own YouTube channel? No. Are I will create my own Instagram account, though. Good. And boating? Are you going to be boating? Yes. I'm going to do my license. Um, I'm, no, just the sailing one, not the, not the captain's license. Cool. Just like, yeah, because you need it in, in, Ger in most of the German lakes, you need it. I mean, the, the rules change throughout the country, but... Just having a sailing license can hurt. I think you should get your captain's license. I mean, what could that hurt? It wouldn't well, be that hard. From what I've read, like I, I don't really know what kind of license I would need. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can get your RYA, RYA captain's license without having to go to school. Because, well, the captain's license that I found is like ridiculous, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's Look definitely it something I'm interested in. It's something that could, you know, yeah. later on in life. I, I got it without needing it, and it's helped me out a lot. Yeah, it's definitely a direction that I'm thinking and going. Yeah. Like, I was, I told you, I was looking at like Sea Shepherd and stuff. Oh, and that'd they, be so awesome. They're only taking people in right now that are working, able to work in a bridge or in the engine room. And like, I'd rather be in the bridge. Get your captain's <laughs> license. You could work yeah, for them. You could I be their PR the girl and the I think girl. that's the that's the captain's license where you actually have to like here in Germany you have to go to school for four years. Like the I I don't know. I'll have to research whatever. Let's cut this bullshit out. But I kind of um, like leaving this bullshit. Out. <laughs> let's um, mm -hmm. let's research that in a second because. Yeah, I would I don't know. Okay. Well, I was planning on talking to Ziggy about that because I, I he actually gives licenses. No, he, he teaches lessons but for sail for sailboats. That's different than like bigger boats. I think you're confusing I don't know what a like, ton is. like an engineer for a boat needs to go to school, but and like a, a captain for a two thousand ton boat needs to go to school, but like our way. I don't know, a hundred tonner. I I, yeah. I didn't really research that. Yeah, well, let's research that a little bit. Um, yeah, that's the plan, and I'm definitely, I've got some friends with boats, and I've got James, so I'm definitely going to be sailing, because... I hope you yeah. come visit me. Yeah, I really Anywhere hope so, cool. too. Yeah, let's make that work. I mean, if you're going to be in Europe, that's, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. I could come, you could pick me up at the train station oh, with the that'd boat. Be so <laughs> I mean, this place, and all of Europe, really, uh, is just this interconnected series of lakes and rivers and tunnels and... I mean, some of them, you have to take the mast down, but that's not horribly difficult. Like, you get a crane, take the mast down, lay it down on the boat, and then go through for, like, a couple weeks. And on the other side, put the stick back on and go. Yeah, it's just ridiculous because it's, compared to the U.S., everything is just so small here. Yeah. That it's, yeah, yeah. It's easy to get to Norway or to England from here. I can take the train from Berlin, I mean. So I'm really excited. There's some big news going on. Uh, I got to see Kimmy. Um, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm about to get down to the boat, which is relatively impossible for anybody, unless you have some friends, and uh, I guess I do. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm so glad you were able to come to Europe. Me too. Yeah. Me too. It was really good to see you. Same.
Seven months, dude. I know. <laughs> Um, okay, so we love you guys, and um, we'll keep you in touch with what's going on with Kimmy and me, of course. And prepare for the live stream because that's going to happen midweek, probably t uh, this week. Uh, I'm so excited. Live to stream do that from also. the boat, and I'm not going to clean it up at all. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it all messed up for you guys and see, like you know, I'm, I'm not going to try to hide anything. Oh, like, I look how nice my boat no, is. No, I want to. I want to see the the look on your face when you first see it. Okay. Can you make that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I will. Okay. No problem. <laughs> I'll film the whole thing like a tourist. He does. <laughs> I will. I'll do that. That's your job, friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was good. I think we should do it again. No, I liked it. I, I think it was genuine and good. I liked it. You want to try it again? Sure. Push. Stop. I think this like. One, this brings us to the present, kind of like, let's make it more like a flow. Okay. Whoa, big drop there, huh? I know what you guys are thinking, <laughs> and I know you want to see the boat, you want to know what it is, you want to touch it, you want to be on it. You're dying here. Give me one week. I'll have it out next week. I'm editing the video right after this. I mean, like, literally going from this to editing the walkthrough video for the patrons. If you want to see it, Become a patron and you can, for one dollar, you can go through the walk through the boat with me. So listen, I just want to say one thing about Kimmy. I know that you guys are disappointed that you're not going to see Kim anymore. I am too. I mean, I'm way more disappointed than you ever will be. But this is part of life. Relationships come and go. What matters is the way that you treat those relationships. The way that you approach them, the way that you end them, the way that you part. If you go through your life and you always try to make everybody in your life a little bit better than the way you found them, you're gonna die happy. I am such a better man from meeting her and she is such a more powerful woman from meeting me. What a beautiful thing, right? Kimmy, I just wanted to tell you again I love you and uh, I wish you the best and there's crazy cool things happening on Zingaro. I am in Curacao, I am on the new boat, I am ready to rock. And starting next week, we're gonna do a boat tour of the boat as I found it. Uh, warning, it's a little messed up because it's been sitting forever. It's a cool boat. You guys will be very surprised and I think enthralled. It's a bigger boat, so I'm gonna have a crew of four to six people. It's gonna be a little different dynamic. You guys are gonna really love it. So don't look at Kimmy leaving like the end of this. Look at it just like another chapter. This next one's gonna be super fun. So please subscribe if you haven't yet. Wait till next week because it's going to be a really cool one. It's the reveal. <laughs> okay, much love, guys. Peace out.